Okay, so at this point we've done a lot of customization and configuration and hopefully you've been following along and doing a lot of this configuration in your account as you learn about it. And all of this configuration is designed to help you be more efficient and more effective with your time when you're working with Phoneburner. And with Phoneburner, whenever you begin to start making calls, you, you start what's called a dial session. And at the start of each dial session, you get to choose specific settings that you want to use for that specific session, such as a phone script, a voicemail, and, and different dispositions or buttons that you'll have on the screen as you're making those calls. And of course, you're able to configure those dispositions to also do specific things like send specific emails, move contacts into specific folders. So you might have disposition sets that are designed for specific types of calls. And adjusting those settings at the start of each dial session, while it doesn't take a lot of time, it does take some time and it can feel a little tedious. So I want to talk to you about another feature within the system called dialer presets. In your dial session settings, you'll see the dialer preset option. And from here, you can create different dialer presets that you can select at the start of each dial session. These presets are configured with a specific set of dial session settings that would be used for that specific session, making it so that you can start a dial session that much faster. So let's talk about how to create a dialer preset. So I'm going to click on the Add New Dialer Preset button, and that'll take us to the Create New Dialer Preset page. And here you'll see all of the different settings that you can configure at the start of any dial session. First thing we need to do, though, is we need to give the dialer preset a name. I recommend that you name your dialer presets based off of the type of calls or campaigns that these dialer presets would be used for. So if you've been following along through all of the training, then you know that there's a couple different types of data that I've been working on building into this training. One of those is a member retention campaign, and one of those is a sales campaign. And the data that I'm calling within each of those campaigns would have different settings for their dial session. So I'd recommend creating a dialer preset for each of those. So let's start with our member retention dialer preset. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, member retention. And now I'm going to go ahead and adjust all of the settings that I would want configured whenever I'm doing member retention calls. So for example, a phone script. I've created a phone script called Member Retention, so I'm going to select that as the script that's going to be used for this particular type of call. Same with voicemail recording. I may have a specific voicemail that I've created that I want to assign to this particular dialer preset. Now keep in mind, the settings that we assign here do not override any setting that we've configured at the disposition level. So if we've created a specific disposition and we've assigned the specific voicemail to that disposition, what I choose here will not override that. The voicemail selected here will only be used if the voicemail button in your disposition set is set to use the dial session default. So I'll go ahead and select my English voicemail member retention voicemail. Then we've got the dialing set and the live answer set. These are the buttons or dispositions that we've already pre-configured in the disposition settings. We can also configure our caller ID. We can set it to the dial-in number, which would display the phone number from our phone when we call in to connect to the system. We could use the caller ID that we've configured in our caller ID section of the account. If we've also configured local ID, then we could choose that as well. And one option that I've not discussed with any of the other drop-downs is the Ask Me option. So I want to take just a moment right now and talk to you about Ask Me. So obviously the idea is, with a dialer preset, is we want to have everything pre-configured at the start of each dial session so that we don't have to make any decisions when we're starting the dial session. We just choose a preset configuration with all of the settings that we need for those specific calls. However, there may be times or specific settings that you want to make the decision at the start of the dial session. And in those cases, you might set it to Ask Me. And Caller ID might be a good option for that. There may be times when you're doing calls that you want to use a specific set caller ID and other times when you want to use your local ID. And then again, other times where you want to use the dial-in number that you've selected. Who knows? That's up to you and your campaign. 
if that's the case, if you're not certain that every time you do a dial session or begin a dial session that you're going to use a specific setting, then set it to Ask Me. By doing that at the start of each dial session when you choose this dialer preset, everything else will be set, but the system will still ask you about that particular option or options if you configure multiple options set to Ask Me. For example, call recording. If I wanted my call recording to be enabled sometimes and disabled sometimes, then I'd leave this set to Ask Me. Or if I know that every time I do a dial session I want call recording turned on, just set it to Yes. And then the last option here is our dialer mode. There are two modes or two methods that you can use PhoneBurner. The most popular and most common is the power mode. Now there may be some times where you want the dialer to pause for a moment so that you can preview the contact that you're about to call. This will give you some time to review the record, make a decision on whether or not you really want to call that record based off of the information that you have at that time, and then either call the contact or move on to the next contact in the list. In this particular case, though, I'm going to set it to power. Once I've made all of my adjustments, I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And now I have my member retention dialer preset created. If I ever need to, I can go in here and edit it. I can also copy it or delete it. Now remember, I've got two types of data that I'm going to be calling through. So I'm going to go ahead and configure my sales campaign. I'll show you how copying works now. So I'm going to click on the copy button. And here you can see I'm taken to create a new dialer preset and a bunch of options have already been pre-filled for me based off of what I copied. Now obviously I don't want all of these settings configured for my sales campaign, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this now. And once I've made all my adjustments, all I need to do is save changes. And there we go. Now we have dialer presets for our sales campaign one and our member retention campaign. And at the start of each dial session, we'll be able to choose which settings we want to use for the particular group of contacts we're calling at that moment, saving us even more time to get up and running and dialing fast. So take a moment now to go ahead and configure your dialer presets, and let's continue the training.